many years ago before we emigrated to the US living in Vancouver, um, I happened to have an agent somehow and it was a commercial modeling slash commercial class and I didn't really know what it was because I was uh, doing the morning show I think and I had all day to play around and do nothing. So I decided to do that and uh, he called up one day and said, do you know how to do voices? And I go, sure. I don't know, I didn't know what he's talking about. And uh, it was a, an audition for G.I. Joe. Um, uh, and uh, so I auditioned for G.I. Joe, and it was, of course, uh, it was done, uh, Deke Animation, D.I.C., and was the joke done in Canada. And here I was, a Canadian kid who is now the voice of America's greatest hero. You know, so it's like kind of like, you know, quick, follow me toward the danger. You know, did this. And it wasn't until I became a U.S. citizen in 2013, I left the L.A. Convention Center with an American flag going, oh, I can say it now, because I didn't really want to say anything. Um, but G.I. Joe was the first, Exo Squad, and I did some anime. I did uh, Shomaru in Inuyasha. Anybody remember that Inuyasha series? Uh, Ranma One Half is one of my very first, uh, you know, in Cleo the Misfit Unicorn with Mickey Rooney way, way back. Um, but G.I. Joe kind of started things rolling, and then this audition came around, and it was Transformers. Now, I'm kind of fortunate because I didn't see the G1. I knew it existed, I, but I was into Bugs Bunny and kind of weird Tex Avery cartoons, you know? And uh, I didn't really know what to do and, until I really got into the booth, and I did that. I cried. Uh, <laughs> I was, I thought, yeah. And Doug, uh, Doug was doing the auditions, ended up playing Pterosaur, and I just started thinking about, I saw the, the picture of it, and I read a little bit of the history. Um, it was a giant stack of, of stuff that came in about uh, the Transformers, uh, Beast Wars. Okay. And I didn't know the history, but I read through it. And uh, I came up, I kind of thought, at the time, Anthony Hopkins and Sean Connery were, were favorites of mine. And I thought, well, what if it's them and they had a baby lizard, you know? I just thought, <laughs> and so this sort of thing happened. This, yes, excellent, you know, talk like. And um, that got me a call back. And I remember being called back and I was read for, called back for both Optimus. And I think it was basically my, my voice, like this sort of thing. Because um, uh, it was similar to what, you know, different, but what the Peter Cullen Optimus Prime and um, I couldn't imagine Gary not doing it, and I got the Megatron part, and I think it's just, you know, and here we are, 25, 30 years later, still, you know, still talking about it. It's crazy. <laughs>